So I got these heads torn down and pretty much cleaned up and I'm going to do some backyard port and polishing on this thing. I'm not going to do a lot. I'm just going to um, lay the gasket on here and trace out the exhaust manifold and bring it out to the opening there and then down inside of there I'm going to take out this little EGR hump right here right beside uh, the valve guide and that'll help things flow a little better. To do that I've got um, my Chicago pneumatic with a carbide die on it get the big stuff and then I got one of these uh, Summit Racing polishing kits and they've just got little um, spiral round abrasive mandrels and a couple various different grits and sizes to go in and polish up uh, the gouges from the die grinder so we'll see how this goes I'm not gonna go hog wild on it I've had friends go way too deep into these before and get into the water jackets and then have to get in there with some nickel rod and weld it up and it turns into a whole ordeal and I don't want to go that far but just want to do a budget job and hopefully make it flow a little smoother so let's do it guys we're about four hours probably all together into porting these big block heads I worked on for like an hour and a half last night and probably another two and a half hours today and I've just now almost finished up one I still got a little bit of polishing to do on it and so I'm by far not a professional with this I've helped some buddies do it on theirs before and stuff so I'm just kind of being conservative with it but I'll show you how far we've gotten so far and uh, what it looks like before so Here's the one, hopefully this light we can see in there. This is what it looked like beforehand. Have valve guide and EGR hump in there. And this is what it looks like now. So I took ended up, at first I started with the gasket, but then I decided I should go with my actual exhaust flange that I'm going to be using and use that to um, trace out the outline of how wide I wanted to open up the exhaust side at least right at the flange there and then I found a couple good photos online of somebody who had cut um, cut the head apart right at the exhaust valve in half with a port with a bandsaw and you could see uh, really well how much thickness you had before you're getting into your water jackets and stuff so I kind of used that as a, a guide and went at it so we'll get this other one done so I got the first head done um, with my pneumatic Chicago pneumatic uh, die grinder here and it worked great but I only have a 20 gallon compressor so the thing was running constantly and probably annoying the neighbors because I have it in a little outhouse style shed out back right next to the apartments next by the fence to the apartments outside and so and I didn't want to burn up my compressor because I ran it solid for probably a good three or four hours which isn't that great for those things so I decided to see if there was electrical version something like this and I found this guy on Amazon it's a Makita electric die grinder and I'm gonna give it a try on the next head and hopefully give the neighbors some reprieve and my poor little compressor some reprieve it was hundred bucks on Amazon and had really good reviews I decided to go with this one over the DeWalt one just because I have a lot of Makita tools but I have DeWalt's too um, I just powered it up and it's fairly quiet actually it's even quieter than my pneumatic one so let's see how it works so I'm gonna put the actual exhaust flange on here again and trace out where that is so we can meet it I 
I was using my new Makita die grinder here, electric. I'm loving it. Like a lot more power than the pneumatic uh, die grinder. It's quieter and you can just really go at it. I don't have to wait for my little 30 gallon compressor to keep up with me and worry about burning my compressor up. Neighbors are happier because it's not as loud. But because it is more powerful, I got a little too comfortable and I ended up going through to see if I can weld this guy up or get another head to work with. But if you see it's right there, that little spot right there where I poked through. So we'll see if we can get this fixed up. But overall, this Makita die grinder is awesome. The last head took me a little over four hours to complete. And I just have to do the polishing on this guy. I've got all the grinding done. And I'm only into it like an hour and 20 minutes. This thing is awesome. It just hogs out the material. You can, since it's longer, I can stick my hand the end of it here as a fulcrum for a little bit of leverage, put a little more hurt into it and take some more material. So, so the die grinder, it's awesome. Not so awesome that I put a hole in the head. So let's see if we can fix this. Okay guys, so winter's coming and it's cold out here now. But I poked a hole in that last head. Whoops. Must have a ghost in the shop. Um, hooked up on that last head, and Grandpa came to the rescue and had another head setting out in the shop. So I got this one torn down. I'm going to remark it and hopefully learn from the last one that I did and get it done. Okay guys, I got the rest of the heads all ported out after I poked a hole in that one. Got the valves lapped and the rest of the way assembled went pretty well. Just wanted to say I bought this $20 spring compressor off of Amazon. Had really good reviews and I have a feeling it's meant for lighter duty springs because it bent to the point that it won't even fit in the case. I don't know if I necessarily recommend getting that guy for a project like this. It might work better for smaller force of cylinder springs or lighter duty springs, but in this case, I don't recommend it. But I'll put a link anyways below to it. The thing that has been the best for this project, it's cold out here in the shop and stuff, is my Infratech heating lamp. These guys are the best. You can just like point them at your project and it's like a human incubator it just warms you and your project up so highly recommend one of these guys if you have a shop that doesn't have that great of heating so link for that below too so we'll get this guy assembled <laughs> 